Cardinals. So for one of our first activities for our Kids Heart Challenge this year, since I don't have you all in phys ed right now, many of you might not have a jump rope at home. I don't have a jump rope at home either, so I wanted to teach you how you can make your own jump rope out of plastic bags. So what you're going to need is about 15 to 20 plastic bags, a pair of scissors, and some duct tape or masking tape, some sort of tape that you can make your jump rope handle with. So to begin, what you're going to need to do is flatten out your plastic bags. And then you need to cut the bottom edge and the handles off so that we can make loops out of them. now that I'm going to work on putting together. We're going to make three strands of about five to six loops together that we will then end up braiding. So when you put your loops together, you will lay them over top of each other and put one through and pull it back through itself and then pull nice and tight so you get a nice little knot. And then you're going to add another loop to this, same way, pull it through itself and you can work on making three long strands of five to six bags. All right, so I have my three long strands. I already made my handle, but you're just going to twist the end of the three together and then put some duct tape around it to make a nice handle. Once you have your handle made, you're then going to braid your three long strands. So you're going to cross them over and braid all the way down to the other end. Alright, now that you've braided it the whole way through, you want to make sure it's the right size for you. So you're going to stand on the middle and pull the ends up towards your armpits, and once it gets to about your armpits, then it is the right size for you. When you are finished with that, if you need to add some more bags to the end, and then when you're finished, you're just gonna twist it together just like we did at the beginning, add your duct tape, and then you've made your own jump rope so you can join us in jumping and some of the challenges. So make sure you stay tuned to Google Classroom and this YouTube, and you'll see some of the different jump challenges I post and some of the different jump rope skills that we're working on so that you can be heart healthy and become active. 